Hi, welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. I'm Kara and today the mice are celebrating Father's Day. So we're using Dandy Day, Let's Barbecue, Sentiments from Offset Sayings Birthday, Totally Awesome, and Superstar. And we're going to use the dyes leafy tree backdrop landscape and I'm using this wood grain cardstock in the light brown the leaf canopy that comes with it in this green from spring fling from hello sunshine remix the yellow for the background and the grassy hill border from mushroom border in really rainbow then green so I'm going to start with some jet black ink because it's Copic friendly, we'll be using Copics today. And I'm inking up all of my little images from Dandy Day and Let's Barbecue. And wipe those off with my chamois and get to coloring. So uh, the mice are going to be mainly cool grays today. And I found my uh, shadows with my lightest and then came in with the C3 as my darkest in those shadows. And now I'm just blending that up into the body with the C1 and the C00. And then give them a little pink in the ears and nose and on the belly as well. And I'm gonna just kind of blend that in a little bit so that it's incorporated into the the grays and then for this little baby i'm going to start with some warm grays and found those shadows and then decided to go a little darker with a w1 and then i will blend that out with the w00 but then i want it to also be kind of like mama there so putting in some cool grays as well so c0 c00 on top of the warm grays and a little pink in the cheeks and everybody's got pink cheeks and ears and noses and bellies and i wanted them to have these pink little bellies but really kind of a light pink so it's an r20 and then i'm going to use the c00 kind of to blend that in and then also i'm going to use my colorless blender to kind of uh blend it out to to being almost white. I'm finding my shadows on, on this little guy and using a C2 to put those in, so under the neck and on the side of the face. And then with the C3, I'm touching the very darkest parts of those shadows to give some definition. And then I'll be blending that into the rest of the body and I did the other two underneath the same way. So those two little mice got kind of the same treatment. So we're moving on to the uh, parts of Let's Barbecue. So here's our spatula and our fork and giving them some cool gray metal look there. And just there's not much shading I'm going to do here. I just want to show that um, they are metal and so there's kind of a little bit of contrast putting in the C2 and um, also on the legs of that uh, barbecue the Weber cooker there and shading it down to a C2 and then a C1 and onto the meat okay so this is a hamburger and what color is a hamburger oh well <laughs> I'm deciding R20, and then I'm using these E70s because they're kind of a pinky brown, and I'm starting light with the E70 to kind of figure it out. So pretty much the whole hamburger is going to be colored with that, but I've got that R20 in there too to show that it started out as raw meat. And now with the E71, I'm finding those shadow areas and kind of coming around but a bit timid with it yes I can go darker I decided so here's the E74 and getting those edges and the seared lines and anywhere that the meat would be cooked a little bit more so uh, on the outside of the hamburger because the meat kind of stays pink on the inside and then 
All right, this, this hamburger is getting a little bit more cooked with the E77 and just kind of making some random type of speckle marks to say that it's it's uh it's getting to be almost well done on the sides but then blending that in with an e71 and that kind of just puts it all together so that those speckles don't look like speckles but really part of the meat all right now parts of this uh hamburger are almost charred because we're using e79 and just getting those those parts that would be uh, cooked the most, I guess, uh, with that. And then I'll come back in and, and blend that in a little bit with that E71 again, just to make everything kind of work together on this. It's a lot of work for one little hamburger, <laughs> but I, I think it turned out all right. Um, now for the handles of the spatula and fork, they're going to be a more traditional brown with the E30s. And so 33 and then 35 to shade and I'm just gonna give them a little bit more darkness with the E37 and then just blend that all back into the handle so that it just kind of looks a little rounded so there's my E33 kind of bringing it into the middle of the of the handle there I chose my light source to be at the upper right, but this fork is going to be upside down, so that's why I shaded the right side. All right, so on to our cooker, and we have some charcoal on the bottom there, and uh, the coals are getting a little bit gray because things are heating up, but uh, we have some variation in those coals, and so I've got different colors, or different uh lights and darks of the cool grays and so then c2 to kind of blend them in together and some more r22 to make it look like they're flaming not flaming smoldering right and then i tried this yr04 thinking i needed to orange it up but i didn't like that so trying to cover that up with the r22 i guess the smoldering i was looking for was more of a pink <laughs> And then the inside of the of the cooker is just gonna go from uh, dark at the bottom, and and then just gradually get lighter. So I started with the C1 all over it, went to the C2 and the C3 at the bottom, and even a C5 just to kind of get those charcoal uh, briskets to to work along with the inside of the barbecue. And then I blend it all back up so that it, it's more uh, gradual in the color. And then a little more C8 because blended some things away to make sure that the charcoal kind of sticks out. All right, so I'm doing my ketchup bottle. And I'm starting with uh, R22 just pretty much all over because that'll be the base. And then coming in with the R24 to put in some shadows and, and parts of it, I'm trying to keep uh, kind of stripes of uh, lighter colors because it's plastic and so I'm thinking that it's a little shiny and, and I wanna show that. At, at this point though, uh, I'm a little enthusiastic and uh, kind of blended it all together. <laughs> so uh, as I put in some of the darker colors, here's the R27, that's gonna to help to uh, bring in some of those lines that I'm looking for to, to kind of indicate that it's a bit shiny there. So just uh, putting in some streaks of color with our 27 and our 29. There we go. I think we've got some uh, light and dark contrast back. <laughs> so we're onto the the grill, and this is uh, the mice found a. A red one. I, I don't know where they are. They're in somebody's backyard, but uh, they've got a red uh, grill here, and so it's going to be the same R24, and then shaded with the R27, and I'm, I'm trying to round it out, and so the edges are going to be darker, and then blended into the middle, and then uh, really dark with the R39 there just to to indicate that that's 
further back or you know again just trying to round it out and then also on the bottom because the whole thing is round <laughs> and then blending that out with the R29 and then I'll further blend that out with the R27 and 24 and their grill is all ready for the hamburger all right so I'm cutting everything out using the coordinating dies and I'll run that through my die cutting machine and once that's done, we'll get on to creating the scene for these guys. And that will start with ink blending this wood grain cardstock. And I'm using uh, Distress Ink Gather Twigs, and I'm going against the grain so that it picks it up and gives that variation of color between the light and dark in the grain and just slowly making my way around it. And I love this because it's it's a Father's Day card, so it's kind of got that manly wood grain uh, frame around it, and plus the tree. So uh, here it is with the pieces behind it. Frames it up real well, but I want to give some variation in that grass and in the um, canopy of leaves as well. So I'm using some mold lawn Distress ink and just ink blending with my uh, life-changing blender brush to to get that to have some variation. And to take my glue tube and run a thin line of glue around there so that I can put the pieces on the back. There's the grass and then our tree canopy. And then our sunshiny background. And then our scene is all set for our mice to arrive on the scene. And uh, so those two mice at the top, I'm not altering. But I am taking the dandelion off of this little guy. And I'm just going to keep that white border the same. But just go around his paw there. And... Um, I'm going to free up his arm so that he can be holding on to that fork uh, as he stabs it into the hamburger. <laughs> so, uh, so just trimming around, and I want the black border of his arm to be, to stay with his arm. So that you, because that's part you'll see, uh, the fork is going to hide some of his body there. And also the part of the stem that is on his body, but... The part in the white border, I'm taking a Signo white gel pen and just covering that part up so that it's a seamless white border around him. Now with this little guy, he's gonna have his arm freed up as well so that he can be holding the ketchup and uh, just trimming around that so that he can keep that black arm border as well and then kind of pry <laughs> pry his arm away from his body so that he can hold on to that. It's pretty big, but he's a strong guy, so he's got it. All right, so putting on some of these characters, trying to um, get the scene ready. And I want to determine where everybody is going to stand. So I'm putting that uh, barbecue down so that he, you can see how close he is. I, I don't want that plastic ketchup bottle to to melt. It could be too near the grill. And then I've got the mama and baby on some foam tape and they're they're in front of, of him. And then I'm starting to put this guy hanging onto that fork and I'm using some foam tape for that too. And I'm not going to put anymore uh adhere anymore yet because i i want to figure out where the sentiment needs to be and i it would be a lot easier to stamp that without having those guys on there especially with uh, foam tape so the dimension doesn't make it so easy to stamp so just getting them all ready to go so he's holding on to the spatula he's it's more like he's ready to to joust it <laughs> towards the guy but uh he's he's holding it on and uh we're ready to put on that sentiment so still keeping everybody in place so that i can see where i want to uh, 
position the words. And so we have happy from Offset Sane's birthday. And then Father's Day from Totally Awesome. And then on the bottom, we have I look up to you and an exclamation part point from Superstar. And I'm using Walnut Ink. I wanted it brown so that it would kind of match with my wood frame and tree. And so just inking that up and stamping it down. And it's all set. So now I can put the rest of the pieces on there. Here's our grill. And I, I don't know, I think the ketchup bottle is too close to the grill, but we'll see where we end up in the end. And then putting the hamburger on the grill. Oh, there, there we go. I'm moving them back a little bit. Well, and the guy up there on the fork, uh, hanging on for dear life, uh, I don't know how I got up there stabbing that hamburger, but he must be dead. He's the, the one they're looking up to there. So preparing the hamburger and putting it on the grill and then adhering that grill down too. And now the guy in the front with the spatula, he's going to be on some foam tape too to show that he's kind of forward. And now it's time to work with our, our guy up there on top. I want to take some of the bottom of the fork off so it looks like he's that fork is stabbed into the hamburger and so I kind of I put it at an angle thinking you know he looked like he's wobbling back and forth but I had to pull that back off he was too close to the tree and uh not that that's a problem but I kind of had him hugging the sentiment a little bit more where where it was kind of between his head and tail and I liked that so I wanted to to keep him over to the the right a little bit so putting a little glue on the fork and I have some foam tape on him so that he's kind of looking like he's coming forward a little bit too all right got to move down that meat now because I've got the fork a little too far down it's I want the fork in the center of the hamburger and all this little fussing around right well, that's part of the fun of card making. All right, well, I'm going to adhere this to a uh, top folding four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. And I'm putting it upside down so that I've got it level at the top of the card because if I need to trim anything off, I'd rather trim off the bottom where there's not a fold. And our card is done. I well, hope you enjoyed this card today and we're inspired to make a scene for Father's Day or maybe go out and grill. Well, have a great day and thanks for watching. Bye.